officials are receiving more than 100 rodent-related complaints a day, according to a report by the Conservatives on the London Assembly. And they claim the problem is getting worse. Our political editor, Tim Donovan, joined one pest controller in North London this morning. Nice to meet you. Cold hand, sorry. Right. Pest control, not exactly a welcome visitor to a housewarming. But when Jess bought this place last month, she found it wasn't quite vacant possession. They were coming in from a whole in here and blocked it off, but you're up to it because rats are under there. They got in through the sewer, so Jess stuffed the pipe with wire. And we've shoved steel wool down both the holes to block it off because we're not living here at the moment. That just shifted the problem upstairs to the bathroom. What tends to happen, because it's only made of flexible, soft plastic, mm. they'll come up and they'll just gnaw through it. Yeah. And before you know it, you've got rats into, you know, any part, well, obviously, the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that's a, the fresh drop in here. Oh. Sorry, that I have to, <laughs> sorry that I have to hold it in my hand, but <laughs> that, that is very fresh. So that's within a, a three-day period, easily, I would say. Helping to highlight the problem was this street in Harrow over the summer. Since when, the woman who filmed it says things have improved. But the Tories on the London Assembly say rats have become a big political issue. Rats bother an awful lot of people in London. They don't want to see it. They want to see their streets cleaner. Perhaps we should look at uh, bin collections again. There's more and more rubbish on the streets. None of us like that, I would suggest. And none of us want rats all around. So Sadiq is in charge of London. He needs to do an awareness campaign as well. And he needs maybe to have a word with some of the boroughs where the rats are worse. Back in Jess's kitchen, the poison's being laid. Before I install that, I'll just put down some trapping dust to identify the movement of the rats. That's the dust that reveals important stuff under ultraviolet light. It shines up nice and bright. You'll be able to see any uh, footprints or tail swipes. You don't think you'd be coming into a house and dealing with a rat problem. Um, yeah, it's, it's not very nice <laughs> to deal with. How would you describe London's rat problem? Chaotic. <laughs> it is, yes. For me, for business, it's fantastic. For my clients, I really do feel for them. And now Gary's being Jess is hoping to move in before Christmas. Tim Donovan, BBC London News.